hello friend in this video we will discuss the classification of the material okay so if you are new here subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated videos from mechanical design at done okay so let's discuss the classification of the material so generally the material are classified into two categories like uh, metal and the non-metal okay so in the metal uh, it is further classified into ferrous and the non-ferrous material okay so the ferrous material are those material uh, which contain the iron uh, iron as their main constituent okay so here in the ferrous material the iron is the main component okay so you can see the cast iron uh, alloy cast iron wrought iron steel iron and the alloy steel so these are the ferrous material so further uh, in the cast iron there are different uh, cast irons are there different types of cast iron are there different types of alloy ions i mean uh, alloy cast ions so uh, different types of steels are there okay medium steel uh, uh, me medium carbon steel high carbon steel okay so like uh, alloy steels are there so it comes under the ferrous material okay so the non ferrous materials are those materials uh, uh, which have the metal other than the iron as their main constituent so here non ferrous materials means other than the iron as their main uh, main constituents okay so he, here like uh, copper aluminium brass tin zinc are the non ferrous materials okay so in the non metal materials uh, though so the non metal materials are classified into uh, different categories okay so here i have listed the few like uh, ceramics po uh, polymer composites like uh, uh, wood also there diamond also there th th those are the non metal components or the non metal materials okay so the ceramics so, so the ceramics are made from the clay okay that has been subjected to high temperature to create the hardened product okay so the ceramic is the very hard material okay so and also it is it is very brittle strong durable and have the uh, very high melting point so uh, because of the high melting point they can withstand the lot of heat okay and generally ceramics uh, you can it is used in the glass windows uh, pottery uh, tiles and the uh, porcelain okay and the polymers okay the general term we use for the polymers are plastics okay so the polymers okay the polymers comes in the two categories like uh, natural polymers and the synthetic polymers natural means naturally occurs okay so we generally uh, it is found naturally okay like a uh, silk wool uh, cellulose proteins and the natural rubber so these are the natural polymers okay and the synthetic synthetic means uh, man-made polymers okay so the man-made polymers uh, includes uh, nylon uh, polyester uh, teflon polyvinyl chloride and the epoxy okay so the composite okay so the composite material uh, as the you can see in the name composite like a combination of two materials okay here we are combining the two materials uh, to have the uh, different physical and the chemical property okay so to ma uh, to have the some different properties like uh, as per our requirements okay we can combine the property of two materials okay so when they are combined they create the material which is specialized to do the certain job okay so when we are combining the two materials at that time we are combining the property of the two materials okay that is uh, that one we can use for the special applications okay uh, that's it for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get the updated uh, videos from mechanical design at the thank you for watching See you in the next video.